So we've got a straight extension and our curved extension and finally our torch nozzle with our contact tip and diffuser in it. In the extensions and all the way through to the nozzle you can see there's four inlets. Uh, this is your shielding gas port. This is water in and water out and through the center we have our welding wire. So now we're ready to install our torch nozzle. We'll align the pins, make sure everything's inserted correctly, and tighten that up using the supplied wrenches. And then we can go on to centering our bore. So now we'll center up our nozzle in the bore. Uh, we'll start by checking to make sure that the gap between the nozzle and the bore wall is consistent at 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock and then we'll check our 12 o'clock and our 6 o'clock. Once we're even all the way around, we can be confident that it's centered. So right now we're obviously too close to the 3 o'clock. So in this case, I'll just move the bore. Circumstance will dictate whether it's easier to move the bore or the machine itself. So now we can see that our distance is consistent throughout the entire diameter of the bore. We'll retract our nozzle out, feed a little bit of wire, about an inch of stick out, and then we'll uh, set the nozzle to the appropriate location. So as you can see our nozzle is a little close to the bore, uh, our wire sticking out is not going to land where we need it to, so we'll use our fine adjustment to bring the nozzle back to the appropriate position. So using our fine adjustment nut here, we'll back it off and the nozzle will retract. So now we'll feed down into the bore and we'll just bring that wire back until it touches. And lastly, we'll tighten up the pinch bolt. So now we're going to drop down to our start position in the bore. And once that's done, we'll program our weld. So we're going to program for a circular weld. We'll push mode, select circular, and press enter. For this weld, we're going to go clockwise, so we'll press enter. Our bore diameter is 12 inches, which is the current minimum setting, so we'll push enter. We'll leave our step size at 0.14 inches, and we'll select our start location. And enter. So we'll hook in our water cooling lines. Make sure that nothing that shouldn't be touching the bore is touching the bore and we are ready to weld.
So we've been welding for about 15 minutes here at approximately 230 amps. As you can see, the water cooling is quite effective. I can reach in and grab the torch nozzle. Okay, we're gonna stop her. We'll give it a little cleanup. And there you can see the results of our effort. 